Hello everyone, uh, I'd like to talk about a topic that uh, usually causes a lot of confusion with students. It's called error propagation or the propagation of uncertainty. And this happens when we know some function, let's say we have some function, that's a function of two variables, so f of x and y, and we know the uncertainty in x, the uncertainty in y, the value of x, and the value of y right, that we've measured, right? So these are things that, that we've measured. What is the uncertainty in my function f of x and y, right? So this is a, this is a common question. And the, there's a general formula. So the general formula for this is the uncertainty in f of x and y squared is equal to the uncertainty in each of these terms squared. And the way we find the uncertainty is we use something called the derivative. I'm going to write this funny symbol. It's the letter uh, del, um, but it just means a partial derivative. If you've taken first year calculus, uh, just treat it like a normal derivative. If you've taken a higher calculus, then you know the difference between these. But it's equal to the derivative of x and y with respect to x times the error in x times the error in x all squared plus the derivative of x this function x and y dy times the error or the uncertainty in y all squared and if I had more variables, this formula would just keep going and going and going, okay? So let's do an example of this, and an example that you might see from your uh, actual lab. So one of the things that we ask you to do is find out the spring constant, um, and we ask you to measure the force, and we ask you to measure um, the delta x that something moves, right? And you might have error associated with or uncertainty associated with both of these things, right? So you might have a delta f for your force and uh, an uncertainty in the, the change in position. So what is the uncertainty in k? So the uncertainty in k squared is equal to the derivative of k with respect to f times the uncertainty in f, all squared, plus the derivative of k with respect to now delta x times the error in delta x, all squared. And so this is equal to, well, what's the derivative of k with respect to f? Well, that's one over delta x, and the derivative of, or the uncertainty in f is just something we measure, we know. So it's equal to that. What's the derivative of k with respect to delta x? Well, that's like having one over x, right? The derivative of one over x is, uh, the derivative of one over x is one over x squared, times negative one, right? You need a chain rule on it. And this is times the uncertainty in x squared. And so we get this formula for how the uncertainty will propagate to get our uncertainty in, in k. So we have our uncertainty in k is equal to, and you'll notice in these formulas, all these square roots come out all over the place. Well, this is where they all come from, uncertainty f over delta x squared plus the uncertainty in x over delta x all squared. And then all squared again, right? Um, so this is, this is essentially how you use it. Um, and it's a, it's a general formula that can be used all the time. And I think it's really, really, really helpful uh, and useful to learn. Um, and you don't have to learn all those other formulas. You just have to remember this one.